Hello my angels, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to do a shopping haul with all of you. Like many of you, I have definitely been scoping out a lot of the sales that were happening throughout January. And I bought some higher end pieces and I also bought some really affordable stuff as well. And I can't wait to share all of them with you. Now, before I start this video, I quickly want to announce that my stylist training will be relaunching for registration on February 11th. I know so many of you have been asking about this course. Classes will begin on March the 4th. So if you are looking to become a personal stylist or if you are looking to up level your business, your styling business, and you want some of my advice and how I run my business, then I will leave the information for the registration down below. Now I'm really excited to share some of my sale pieces with you guys because I really feel like I found some good stuff. <laughs> and one of the things that I always talk to you guys about on my channel is to get the best quality that you can afford. Clothing definitely has an energy to it. So I personally like to invest in my clothing when I can, especially if they're pieces that I know have a lot of versatility and I know are going to add value to my closet. So there are some things that I picked up for myself that I've actually been eyeing since very early fall, but weren't quite at a price point that I felt comfortable investing in and just didn't feel yeah, like the price point personally didn't feel aligned to me at the time. So I love stocking pieces slowly to see if when January rolls around, I can score them at a much more affordable price point. So the first thing that I picked up during the sales are, or is, sorry, this really beautiful silk wrap skirt. This is from Vince. I absolutely love, first off, the color of this. It's in my color palette, which is a really gorgeous, gorgeous, rich camel color. To me, there's something really elegant and mature about this type of neutral. It goes with absolutely everything. And because I'm sticking my color palette, obviously as well, obviously it resonates with me very much, but I love the drape. It's such a, I mean, silk's always such a luxurious fabric. Yes, it does definitely wrinkle, but I'm okay with that. It falls really beautifully over curves because it's a fluid fabric, but I just love this front uh, wrap. It, to me, it's really elegant. It's a touch that's special, but not too out there. This is one of the pieces that I had eyed earlier in the fall. Um, it was just not a price point I was comfortable spending at that time, but Netta Porter had put it on sale uh, during the January month, and I scooped it up during then, and I've already worn it to uh, my Mastermind Weekend that you guys would have seen in my travel capsule video that I just posted, and... I'm in love. The next piece that I picked up from the sale is actually a matching piece to the first. It is another silk piece, but this time it's a top, also done by Vince, also purchased from Netta Porter. And again, I just loved how luxurious this looked, that really rich, um, camel color. I mean, it just looks liquid almost the shirt to me, but it has sort of like a balloon ending to the sleeve, which I thought was a really beautiful touch and something that's a little bit different. And I also love that this had these two, uh, ties on here. So if I want to tie this shirt as a high neck, then I can do that. But I really love the idea of just leaving it open and having that sort of relaxed collar there or relaxed lapel and just letting the strings of the shirt just kind of hang there. Uh, again, I've worn this already. I wore it when I was in Dallas recently, but I love the idea of tucking it into jeans or more of a waxy pant or matching, wearing this matching set together, even though they were sold separately, but pairing the skirt and the shirt together for more of that matchy matchy kind of vibe. I thought that was really special as well. The next piece I picked up is also an item from Netta Porter that I've been stocking since the fall. And that is this beautiful blazer from Theory. I saw this come or become available I don't know if that it was pre-fall, but very definitely, definitely early fall. And I love the fit of this jacket. It has a great shape around the waist. I love the print of this jacket. To me, it is just very classic. And I love the color combinations in here. It's got like a nice beige, which is very trendy right now. Um, also in my color palette, it's also got a camel color running through it, a navy blue and almost like a, a black blue, if you will. It's just such a stunning print, an item that makes me feel really good when I wear it. And I always tell you guys to only purchase things that make you feel amazing, right? Because clothing really does influence how we feel about ourselves. And you wanna make sure not only that it doesn't make you feel good, but it also works well for your body shape and you can style it at least three ways to ensure you're getting that versatility that we all crave in our closet. Now for the last of my investment pieces, I bought two pairs of shoes on sale that I'm like obsessed with, like obsessed. <laughs> 
I had picked up two loafers from Stuart Weitzman. So here's the two of them here that I'm just crushing hard on guys. I really wanted some everyday footwear that was chic, sophisticated, was something that would take my outfits to the next level very easily, but were still incredibly comfortable. Now this pair in particular, if you guys watch my packing video, you'll be no stranger to. I wore these the entire time I was in Dallas during the day through the airport. They were such a wonderful, pleasure to wear on my feet. They have great cushioning in them. They look sophisticated. I love that it's a white shoe too. So against even some of the darker, moodier colors I have in my closet, it'll really create a nice pop on or against any outfit or look that I want to put together. But because it's white, it'll also look really beautiful come the springtime. And I was thrilled. I mean, I got these 50% off. It was the last shoe and it was in my size. So I felt like it was it was a sign, I had to buy them. <laughs> then the other one, which I have not shown you guys yet, is this loafer. It is a really beautiful bright navy, which bright navy is so hard to find. You always see it in the, that really corporate navy, almost black blue kind of shade, I feel. And this one's a little bit lighter. Again, it's in my palette. Um, it also has this really beautiful camel trim that goes around the entire, um, or wraps around the shoe. But again, very, very comfortable. It's something that I can pair with literally anything in my closet. It's gonna look great with jeans. It'll look great against like some white cropped ankle pants in the summertime, but it'll also look really chic and kind of quirky against some of the skirts and dresses that I have in my closet too. Something else that I had picked up for myself during the sales are two pairs of denim. Now I was in need of some more denim. I had recently purchased this pair from guests that just left and lost all of their shape basically immediately, which to me is a sign of really poor quality. And I was, I was pissed, I'm not gonna lie. I was really upset that the jeans lost their shape as quickly as they did and didn't really grab their shape again when they were washed. So I wanted to replace that pair of skinny jeans really quickly. And as you guys know from my perfect denim video on or how to find your perfect denim video, I'm a huge fan of good American jeans. And it kind of dawned on me when I was looking through the sales, I'm like, why don't I have more of their jeans when I love them so much? So the first, which again, you guys would have seen in my travel video is this pair, I'm not even sure it's gonna translate on camera, but it's this waxy black pair of denim, which I love because it provides a little bit of an attitude. I, you know, while your basic black denim is really cool, I love the idea of these because that waxy texture creates almost that like rock and roll vibe, you know? So you could pair it and wear it with everyday items in your closet, but because it has that texture, it's gonna give a little bit of attitude to any of your looks. And because of that, it will also transition very easily to the nighttime, whether you're going to a concert or going for a drink or going for dinner or whatever you're doing. So of course I ended up scooping up another pair of denim that was also in a darker blue, a dark wash jean, a blue jean, sorry, you will never ever go wrong with because you can dress them up and down. They can be used for any occasion, more or less, with the exception of office wear, unless your office does casual Fridays, but I really love these jeans, again, for the reasons I mentioned previously and have been wearing these nonstop. They're so fantastic. Now, the last three items that I picked up were from H&M, so nice and affordable. While these aren't sale items, I wanted to share them with you because I always love to share shopping finds with you guys. So the first is this beautiful leopard blouse. I love, like, check out the movement of this blouse. It's so fluid. It uh, just ebbs and flows really, really beautifully. It's got a great... Uh, collar on it so you know it takes on the classic blouse kind of feel but again it's got some attitude it's got some personality in this blouse which I really really love and because it's that high drape again it looks fabulous on really curvy figures the movement so it gave it a little bit more of that expensive feel to the hand and uh, yeah loving this I can use it to dress up and down the other thing that I picked up from H&M oops, which is this, a really cute like accordion style skirt uh, that has this asymmetrical stripe running through it. And I love that it's a navy, a brighter blue and an off white. I just think it's absolutely beautiful to me. I don't know why, but I get like Parisian vibes from it. I just imagine putting this with like a beret and even something as simple as this cream sweater that I'm wearing today. And uh, I could even put my blue loafers that I just bought and pair all of that together. Or I could wear heels and go a little bit more Parisian chic or something, I don't know. It just, to me, it looked, it seemed like a really good fit for my closet. And I know I can easily pair this with t-shirt, sorry, and a denim jacket, or I could put this with blouses and tuck it in and really elevate the skirt. There's so many ideas that came to my mind when I initially 
actually saw the skirt in store and I just thought, oh my gosh, like I have, but clearly I have to have it. <laughs> The last item that I picked up from H&M is a yellow sweater. Now this baby caught my attention because I don't actually have a lot of yellow in my closet, but I want to have more yellow in my closet. And I'm excited that it's one of the trending colors that's upcoming for the springtime. I just, yellow to me is such a happy color. You know, I just think it's such a, yeah, it is literally a ray of sunshine. So this one is super cute. It's a little bit oversized. Sorry, it's gonna skew the color on the screen here. Um, it's a little bit oversized. It's made more of an acrylic, which I mean, it's a nice alternative to wool, especially if you're someone that, um, you know, your skin gets itchy with wool. And it does have a little bit of elastin in it, so it'll also give a little bit of stretch. So there is some movement to the sweater, which I like. It's not overly bulky. But again, I wanted something, like it just makes me happy to look at. I love getting pieces in my closet that just make you smile, you know what I mean? And I was thinking it could look really cool with the skirt that I picked up, you know what I mean? Like if I want a nice sunshiny, happy combination, I thought that would look really special. And I also thought about layering this on top of that leopard blouse that I purchased. Like there's so many, again, so many things that came to mind on how I could wear this beautiful item, which to me is an instant winner when you're thinking of your closet. And I really liked how it fit. I liked that it had that little bit of slouchiness so that it gave me room to layer items underneath or to wear it solo. Anyway, my angels, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've had a couple video ideas in mind and let me know what you guys think of this because I know all of us shop at different price points. We have different things that we're looking for. I was thinking of doing a series over the next little while of doing like a stylist pick, like more affordable price points, something mid range and something higher end, like one or two items from various stores and showing you what I would pick and why from each store. So let me know what you guys think of that. It's an idea I've been, been tossing around in my mind that I think you guys might like, but I'm not sure. So let me know, give me your feedback in the comments below. I always love hearing what you guys Thick. And I also really quickly want to thank you guys. I finally hit 100,000 subscribers, which blows my mind. Like when I started this channel, I didn't even think I would have like 5,000 subscribers. So the fact that we're at 100,000 in this really positive, welcoming community blows my mind. And I definitely wouldn't be here without any of you. So thank you all so much for the love and support that you give me through my videos. Thank you so much for taking time to watch them, taking time out of your day to support me uh, and take in my content. It just means the absolute world. And other than that, my angels, I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye guys.